women that work in sports, especially in upper management. And you're also a woman of color, mm -hmm. so there's just the double minority thing. Yeah. So how have you navigated and what's that been like for you? I have to tell you when it's, this has always been my approach. You know, I was raised by two blue collar parents um, who didn't have, you know, education and an education. And they drilled into me that education was very, very important. So I was the first member of my family to get my MBA, which that was a huge accomplishment. Um, and the second thing that my parents taught me is you have to work hard. You have to work hard. My parents got up every single day and went to work. No matter what, you know, they went to work. Um, and they really, really instilled in me that if you work hard, you know what, the rewards will come. And you know, my thought, you know, I have, I'm very, very passionate about education as well because my parents told me, you know what, somebody could steal your lunch, they can steal your pocketbook, you, you know, they could fire you from a job, but no one can ever take your education away from you. And that's really, really important to me. And what's your advice to any young woman that wants to follow in your footsteps? She wants to be in charge of, a, of marketing for a professional basketball team. That she can do it. She can do it. If I did it, look, I'm an inner city kid. I grew up, you know, in the inner city. Um, I grew up, you know, I wasn't, my parents, again, my parents were blue collar workers. Um, I was a poor kid, but you know what? I did it. I did it, and anybody can do it. If I can do it, anybody can do it. You just have to have you put your mind to it. You know, you have to work hard mm -hmm. and not take anything for granted and not expect to be handed something. You have mm -hmm. to work for it. Were there any personal sacrifices along the way? Um, well, when I was getting my MBA, I worked for the league office. Um, and I remember, you know, traveling across the world and sitting, you know, after working 18 hour days, going back to the hotel room and ordering room service and working on a paper or, you know, working on an exam that the next day I had to fax back to the professor because I was away. Um, and I remember one particular night, um, I was actually in California for an all-star game and I had worked literally, it was like a 20 hour day and I went back to the hotel room and I was like, oh my God, you know, I have homework to do. And I was up all night because the homework was due the next morning by 8.30. So yeah, there were sacrifices, but it was, I looked at it as short term sacrifices for long term goals, right? Because I knew that I wanted to get my MBA and that was so important to me that when I didn't think that I could, I did because it was that important.